Okay, so I have got my pepper tea with me. This video is all about soul talk. Hi guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? So this is a very different video on my channel. Actually, I really wanted to sit down and talk to you guys. It's been a while, I know. And this video is extra special because it's going to be all about the things that I lost in 2020 and all that I gained. So I have got my pepper tea with me. I also want you guys to grab something, anything to eat or drink because this video is going to be a bit long. And um, I really want this video to be more like um, chai time chatting. Okay, so let's get started. So it was December when my parents visited uh, me here in London and we had some really amazing time and in January they left for India and I felt like you know I need to invest my time into some kind of uh, work that I would really enjoy doing and um, something that would also pay me well. So I was into this part-time job. I struggled a lot initially. I was doing a lot of volunteering work like I was working for free. Uh, like in the digital marketing field and um, after a while I started a, a part-time job that was just once a week I would go to a very uh, nice salon here an award-winning salon and I would create content for them it was once a week kind of like a freelance job but I would treat it as a part-time mostly because I dedicated um, one day of my week to that job and uh, work was going really fine but in January I really thought that I should have another job uh, part-time. I was looking for a part-time job because I don't really want a full-time right now because I have got my channel, Instagram, I create content everywhere. So in order to you know uh, keep up with the content I need um, some finance you know I need to invest a lot of money like good gear and the places that I visit is also expensive and I really love to travel and create content so in order to you know uh, finance that I would obviously need um, some good amount of money so that's the reason why I thought that okay this year is going to be all about travel I'm gonna travel all around the world I'm also going to you know have a job uh, that would pay me well and yeah so uh, during February um, I started looking for jobs here and a startup reached out to me after they saw my CV so they were like okay Shanu we, we really want you as our uh, you know digital marketing uh, specialist and uh, we are gonna work together and you're gonna also create content and also look after our social media and initially it was for three months as in um, yeah the period was three months and after that they were gonna hire me for um, for like um, uh, for a year or year and a half and I was pretty excited so in February I finally had a job uh, so I was working four days a week and one day I was working for this another part-time job so five days a week and Saturday Sunday I was I would create content and the whole week I was busy and it was like my favorite time and um, I was earning a lot and I was like really happy that finally I'm getting stable uh, financially and yeah I was really happy but bam <laughs> coronavirus everywhere and uh, UK was most affected you know after February so the the lockdown started and still by God's grace I had the job and uh, yeah I was re working really well with both the companies and uh, also on my channel slowly and slowly after like oh two months I, I was like really in a position that I would finally feel so happy. I almost kind of like cried out of happiness that this is what I wanted. Wow, Shano, you have done it. And um, it was March. Uh, this was a feeling that I got. And um, just after three months, that is, you know, by the end of April, my boss told me that uh, Shanu, we would not like you to continue after three months in our company because we are not getting clients and there's this coronavirus thing everywhere and uh, we are losing a lot of money. And since this is a startup, uh, it's not possible for us to, you know, uh, give you salary. And I was so heartbroken that I almost cried in front of my boss. Oh my god. One moment I was happy, dancing with joy that you know finally I have got a lot of you know things stable in my life and the other moment it was like a shock. 
the other job uh, that I was doing, uh, I was creating content for this really amazing salon here and uh, they stopped replying to my emails because uh, salon was shut down and uh, they didn't even, you know, had that courtesy to even email me that Shanu, we don't want you to create any more content because a salon is shut down and um, that actually hurt me a lot and I was like, uh, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> within just three months everything changed I mean at one moment I had these amazing jobs and at the other moment I was crying I was literally crying in front of my boss that you know please don't don't do this but I I did understand that you know uh, that this is gonna happen and um, and I and I yeah I just cried what else I could do and right after that it was during May that everything changed i was in my home with no job i was creating content but you know from house how much would i do and i was like okay i cannot even show the world to you guys because of the situation so it was a long gap when i didn't know what to do a lot of things started happening also uh, sid's grandmom uh, expired and um, that came as a shock because i was really close to her so when i heard the news that nani ma is no more I, I just fell on the ground and i started crying because i was really close to her so we lost her not because of coronavirus but she, because she was ill for a really long time i think whatever happened to her happened for good because she was suffering a lot but that came as a shock and also every day we were listening to all these kind of news uh, that you know uh, there's coronavirus everywhere it, Italy was most affected and there were a lot of people dying I was really feeling sad it was during this time around like May or June I started watching Mahabharat which is uh, an Indian television series uh, it was broadcasted in India and I was watching it and um, it's based on uh, the principles of Bhagavad Gita so the show taught me a lot of things it's it's Bhagavad Gita that uh, actually saved me from the situation and all the Krishna Vani, the teachings of Lord Krishna I have all the videos linked in the description box if you guys want to listen to it it kind of helped me to you know get back on track I started transforming my life and that's when I filmed this video called um, uh, you know how I lead an anxiety free life and that uh, helped a lot of you guys because I got some DMs that uh, you know th that video actually saved you from that uh, horrible time and uh, I'm so glad that you know I could actually share my experience with you guys I started you know uh, regaining that strength that mental strength that I think I lost initially so I was like okay I really don't have to waste my time looking for jobs anymore because I know it's not gonna be available uh, because it's obviously the time is not right uh, so I started focusing um, my time on uh, learning new things so I started learning videography photography that helped me you know to uh, change my content if you guys will see my Instagram and uh, YouTube you know the car picture and everything everything was changed it was during that time I learned you know software uh, different software how to operate it and um, like I said videography the basics and um, I started focusing my time on more like you know good things and not thinking about all the things that I lost I also gained mental peace uh, during this time I'm really happy like I talked about regarding Bhagavad Gita that gave me a lot of mental strength and the third thing that I realized was um, I gained a lot of um, positivity because I started uh, feeling really happy even f about the smallest things it was during september when we went to a trip to scotland and um, i realized that you know how being positive is important because i was feeling happy even about the air that i was breathing so that's that's something that we need really need to continue in the future because obviously we need to be really thankful for even the minutest thing in the world because you never know when it's gonna go away so yes uh, the air that we breathe the nature that we have I started you know walking a lot during this time and 
I was just in nature. I was spending my time in in the nature, in the parks, just going for walks, going for runs, and I started spending a lot of time talking to my parents, also uh, my in-laws too, because I think it's during this time when I realized that how important living with them is. Because right now, since we are here, it's it's really difficult to even travel to India. Uh, because of the situation so I just realized that okay I really need to be with them uh, even if it's virtual so in a nutshell I would say in 2020 I lost a lot of things but also I gained a lot of things I think that's what is more important and um, yes I really wanted to make this video because it's more like a soul talk uh, and I really want you guys also to you know uh, have a chat with me in the comment section just comment down below and let me know if you guys have lost anything in 2020 if you're com comfortable talking about it and if you are not comfortable then whatever you gained in 2020 whatever things that you want to talk let's talk let's have that soul chat in the comment section so that was it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video with me it was like a mini video i really wanted to you know just pour my heart out <laughs> thank you so much guys for watching this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you like this video then do hit the subscribe button and also like button bye for now